Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching Game of Thrones, episode 5, episode 2. Now, okay, in the last episode, we lost a real one. We probably lost the realest guy in all of Westeros. And that was Mance. Mance died in the last episode because he wouldn't bend the knee. His goal was to save everyone, right? He everyone he brought together, he wanted to save, right? Now, it's like they need to get through the wall before winter is actually like 100% here or they're all gonna die okay and that's why he brought them all together to save them to get them out of there before winter is here and the white walkers come and kill them he had a really good plan until stannis showed up stannis kind of fucked over everything so but stannis gave him an opportunity he's like look bend the knee and i'll let everyone live you know but they have to fight for me while i take over the north i see it more as like i think it's more of a pride thing and like a respect thing for him because if he bends the knee then yeah everyone's not gonna respect him as much but they're gonna live i mean they'll die fighting for stannis of course but i guess it's more about them dying while fighting for their survival than fighting for someone else who kind of doesn't really give a shit about them like i kind of get it but now i'm just assuming stannis is going to leave them all on behind the wall and so they're going to die anyway so if the main mission was to get them past the wall he should have bent the knee because now they're going to stay behind the wall regardless so but now that he didn't bend the knee they're all going to die i'm assuming i don't know what stannis plans to do with them now because they're not going to willingly fight for him so i don't know maybe stannis will force them to fight for him or he's just going to have them all killed it's kind of a lot of them that have them all killed or he'll just i'm assuming he's just going to leave them on the other side of the wall while he progresses throughout the north while he goes and takes the, over the north later on. So that, that's my guess. Varys and Tyrion are going... They are going to meet Khaleesi's Daenerys. Now that's... I'm really excited to see that. Because I want to see how they interact with each other. And I'm excited to see what Tyrion thinks when he sees Sir Barristan. And then Baelish is taking Sansa. He didn't... Okay, he's taking her somewhere. He didn't give exactly where he's going yet. He didn't give a location. As far as I know, I didn't hear a location, but he's like, I'm taking you somewhere far away, somewhere safe, somewhere where Cersei is not going to find you. So, okay, we'll see where that goes. So anyways, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this episode of Game of Thrones. If you want to watch the full-length uncut reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two episodes will also be on Patreon, so let's get started. Also, do you guys like it when I have like a little bit of a longer intro, or do you guys just not want me to waste time at all and just hop right into it? Because like... I'll watch like other people's reactions, not the not the Game of Thrones, just like other movies and stuff. And like sometimes, dude, some people don't even give like an intro. They just it starts as soon as they start the movie. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys kind of like it when I talk at the beginning for a bit? Do I talk for too long sometimes? Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Because like I'm trying to cover as much as I can without wasting too much time in the intro. You know what I mean? So let me know. Anyone home? Hello. Follow Mogulis. <clears throat> He's like, what the fuck do you want? Oh. Jack and Hagar gave me this. No one here by that name. Hmm. Please. S Cersei. Walder Frey. Especially Walter Frey. Specifically him. Fucking hate him so much. I thought you still mourned the death of my beloved Aunt Lysa. Hey. I'll have some. Yep, he sees Baelish. And Sansa. Lady, I don't think this is the right Ready the horses. No. no. We only have one horse. Find Man. more. Man, is it? No. Oh, I mean, dude, honestly, Bran probably waxes these two guards, but he was with a lot more, probably out just outside. That's fair enough. Uh, Your loyalty came free of charge. Oh, there's a lot more guards than I thought. You were Catelyn Stark's sworn sword. I was. Strange. I knew Cat from the time we were children. She never mentioned you. It, it was a newer thing. Of Stannis Baratheon. A shadow with the face. It sounds crazy, but... To protect Renly. 
She failed. She yeah. swore to protect your mother. She failed. Ugh. If we can have a word alone. No. No. What's Please, my lady, if I could explain. I saw you at Joffrey's wedding, bowing oh. to the king. Oh, fuck. Man, ask you to stay. She oh, no. Yeah, stay so they could kill her? Yeah, no. Okay, I mean, like, dude, I don't blame Sansa for not accepting her because it's like, dog. She doesn't know. Well, she saw you about her Joffrey, first of all. But, like, she, she doesn't know you, and everyone you've ever tried to serve has died. So it's like, yeah. And then, like, also she would interfere with Baelish's plans. So. He just tried to, he tried to have her killed right there. No, it's Pod. Dude, she lost Pod. She lost Pod. No. Because Pod doesn't know, really know how to ride a horse. Dude, I swear to God, Pod better not die, bro. I love Pod so much. Like, he's never done anything wrong. Why kill Pod, you know? Oh, yeah, they got the fuck out of there. Come on! Oh, no, 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 stop! Oh. Fuck. Nope. Please breathe. Yeah, yeah. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck. I guess that means you're unarmed. Fuck. Oh, let's fucking go, Brian. Yes. Oh, look at the I saw her riding on the east road with Littlefinger. We'll follow them. My lady. There's no point. Yeah, I get it's her vow, but like, dog, they both rejected you. It's like, it kind of, it's unfair to Big B because it's like, she, the two people she was protecting it that died. What the fuck is this? There are only two like it in the world. Okay. Rendley and Catelyn, right? She literally couldn't do anything about it. So it's like, it kind of sucks. She wasn't literally, she literally wasn't there to do anything. Like, she wasn't there for Catelyn, but it's kind of Catelyn's fault because she sent her off to go ship Jamie to King's Landing. And she was there for Renly. But it's like what no one could no one could have done anything about that. You've never been a father to her. If I was a father to any of my children, they'd be stoned in the streets. What was your caution brought? Our eldest child murdered at his own wedding. Our only daughter shipped off to dawn. Our baby boy set to marry that smirking whore from High Garden. He kinda of deserved all of it, not gonna lie. Ooh. Now bring out also home. Ooh. You can't just ask Prince Duran to give her back. She's promised to his son. I'm not going to ask him anything. You go down there with Yeah, that's Obri. That's Obrien's brother. Jamie's getting our daughter back. Is Tyrion fucking sent her off? A one-handed man. Alone. Oh, that's Fox. Yeah, that's Fox. I almost said I was going alone. Dude, I keep forgetting Jamie doesn't have a fucking hand. It's like I keep thinking, oh, Jamie's waxing this fool. Jamie, Jamie's got it, but then it's... Oh, he's bringing fucking brawn. <laughs> Gree, we're going to need pigeon pies. That's what they eat in the capital, don't they? Bro, Ron does not give a fuck about this girl. It's a fine place, isn't it? Damn. A fine place. Ron is up in life, bro. I'm so happy for her. We won't get to live at Stokeworth. When Mother dies, my sister gets the castle because she's older. Oh, yeah. That, and he's gonna kill... Yep. And your sister is a mean person. She is. He's gonna kill her sister. <laughs> it was. It told, that was his plan. <laughs> you always get what's coming to them eventually. He's trying to set it off to it. One way or another. It looks like an accident. Who's that? Hmm. Oh, fuck. When we return, I'm going to give you a much better girl and a much better castle. Oh, okay. Okay. So I guess Bronn got fucked over in the marriage. But Jamie's like, hey, if you help me, I'll give you a better girl, a better castle, everything, so. Alright, let's see how she's... We haven't seen her since Oberyn died, so let's see how she's doing. And that's uh, Cersei's daughter right there. They will avenge their father while you sit here in your chair doing... Good, let's go kill the mountain. I mean, Tywin's already dead, so... Let me send her to Cersei. Oh. One finger at a time. Oh, 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 that's what she meant. 
we do not mutilate little girls for vengeance. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Not while I rule. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I like this guy. How long would that be? Ooh, I'll throw it. Okay, I like the prince. He's he's not he's not that delusional. Okay, like she's pissed because he's not doing anything about Oberyn. But like, yeah, mutilating the girl is a little too far. You understood fear once long ago, but you've forgotten what it means. Someone who's forgotten fear has forgotten how to hide. Yeah. True. Oh! Okay. Kind of bullshit how he found that guy. They pay poor men to do it for And him. how do you know this? Everyone knows this. I don't know it. And I'm him a trial at least. A fair trial. Please, I beg you. About what? About your father. About the Mad King. The Mad King. When the people rose in revolt against him, he burned men alive with wildfire and laughed as they screamed. Led to rebellion that killed every Targaryen. I'm not my father. No, your Christ. And she does, Thank the gods. Yeah, and he doesn't want her turning into him. It made him feel powerful and right. Until the very... Yep. She does, he doesn't want her getting carried away with power. Uh, I love how Sebastian is kind of directing her in the right way. He's like, look, so my last king went wrong. I don't want it to happen to you, you know? Who happens to be her dad, too? I didn't know that. <laughs> I was probably, probably should have known that, but then I just realized too. Jamie killed her fucking dad. If if I understand what's happening, yeah, Jamie killed Daenerys's dad. Damn. Let me know if that's right. I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, that you showed great promise in other areas as well. I love how he's on. Well, he's going to be on Khaleesi's team now. They're gonna. They're gonna get. So much shit done. No matter what we do, people like you and me are never really satisfied inside the box. Is that they're going to kill them all. What was? Oh my god! Take the head. Not me, your grace. I would She's take it if you don't you. mind. It could prove useful for my work. Okay, buddy. Making a fucking Frankenstein. So she has a bounty on Tyrion. I mean, that kind of looks like him. That's the same hair. Damn. So they're just killing every single dwarf that has long, blonde, dirty blonde hair. What qualifications can he possibly have for this post? The qualification of loyalty, Grand Maester. I'm, That's far I'm, more than the unit. I'm also surprised this fool hasn't died yet. I can't wait till he dies. <laughs> He's so fucking annoying. The king is very busy at this moment. He should be here, learning what it means to rule. He is learning. Yeah. On this occasion, in his... She trying to rule for her, for him, so she can stay in charge. My concern. You are the queen mother. Nothing more. Ooh. Yeah. She wants, she wants to stay in charge. But though. abandon your king in his time of need. If he wants to send for me, I will be waiting for him. At Casterly Rock. Ooh, but this guy's not buying it. King for treason. They could strike at him by striking at you. Nah. They're good people, but... You have no idea what people will do. Yeah, um, I guess. All your books can't... and you still don't know. Can't trust anyone. Perhaps you should ask the Davos how much mercy I show to lawbreakers. Ooh, oh, fuck. Please, no. Show too much kindness, people won't fear you. If they don't fear you, they don't follow you. That's horrible. Respect your grace. The free folk will never follow you, no matter what you do. Exactly. That's You're the man who burned their king alive. Yep. Okay. Getting people to follow you out of fear is only temporary. You have to. You have to make them follow you out of respect, like Rob did. He'll punish you for it. I don't punish men for bravery. I reward them. That's why I like Stannis. I don't know what I have left to give you. You can give me the North. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I'm a bastard. The snow. Pledge me your service and you'll rise again as John Stark, Lord of Winterfell. Oh, okay. What asked the king? Just like that, we'll never be the bastard of Winterfell again. He deserved this. I feel like Stannis is kind of just using him to get the north, Why? I'm going to refuse him. Oh. That's nah, probably, 
probably the best. I swore a vow to the Night's Watch. Dude, fuck the Night's Watch. My own words, seriously. What's the bloody Lord of Winterfell would that be? Ah, that's true, but dude, fuck the Night's Watch. Fuck every... No, not everyone, but... Fuck... Ugh. And venison stew. <laughs> fuck that guy. Thon or whatever the fuck his stupid ass name is. Fuck... It. Ah, I'll never serve that guy. He was acting commander when the wall came under attack. <sighs> And he's a veteran of a hundred battles and has been a defender of the watch and the wall almost all of I his mean, life. I mean, he didn't run away like this fucking guy. So, like, at least he went out and fought. That was, it was kind of, it was really cool. I'll give him that. But the Slint knows her quite well. Okay, Sam the Slayer is a condescending name. But dude, that's kind of a sick name. A wildling <laughs> girl, a baby, <laughs> and Lord Janus. Yeah. I found him there after the battle was over in a puddle of his own mate. Moment himself chose John to be his steward. He saw something in John, exactly. and now we've all seen it too. Exactly. But he's the commander we turned to when the night was darkest. Yeah. Dude, that, that was great, Sam. That was good. Fought the wildlings all his life. Or a man who makes love to them. God. Fuck off. It is time. I'm still going, John. Appears to be a tie, master. Yeah, it looks like a tie. No one voted for the dude with the eyebrows. I got to hear it. Oh, he's just gonna know exactly how many. Oh! John won. Okay. Oh, I guess it was his vote that wasn't there yet. Fuck yeah. Oh, you. You. Oh my god, fuck. What have you got there? Don't fucking worry about it. Nothing's worth anything to dead men. Ooh. Oh, this guy. Go, go! Okay, this, okay. This guy's obviously powerful. So, and he just saved her. Who are you? Why were they scared of you? Yeah. You lost this. But she threw that shit in the water. How did you find that? No, it's Dragon! Yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah, I knew it. I mean, I called it like two seconds before. A man is not Jack and my God. God. Fuck off, dude. No one. And that is who Goma must become. Okay. okay. Alright, well, she found Dragon. Okay, what do they do? They give him mercy or do they kill him? Okay, it seems like he's going, he's killing him against Khaleesi's word. Oh. All right, they had him killed. Yeah. Her city does, this, people don't want her to. Damn it, it's hurting her. Like, she doesn't even want to look. Like she doesn't want, she doesn't want to do it, but she has to. She feels like she has to. Maybe she changes her mind. Start begging her to stop. She's too good of a person. Oh nope, she. Mm. Her, I feel like they're all gonna turn on her now. Yeah, they're all okay. They're. They're hissing at her. Yeah, fuck those. Are, I'm assuming those are the masters over there. So fuck the master. See, you see what happens when Jorah leaves. This never would have happened if Jorah was still here. He would have gave her the right advice. Oh, is this her dragon? The one that they haven't seen in weeks. It is. I kind of heard it when they showed the shot of the city. Dragon. It's fucking huge. Oh my god. Let's just bit her hand off. No. What, does it not trust her anymore? Does the dragon not trust her? Alright, well that 
was episode two of season five.